Our next guest has an album out. It is called The Chaos and the Beauty and a couple of gigs this weekend. If you're going to the Always Sunny podcast at the Met on Saturday, uh, Sunday and Monday, you will see him performing with his band who are all here with us this morning. <laughs> Every single one of them. <laughs> yes. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Don McCluskey yeah. is here. Hey, Don, how are you? Good, man. It's good to be here. Nice to see you yes. and everyone with yeah, you. About the whole crew, almost. Seven pieces yeah. all together here. How many, uh, When if you say almost, how many more people could you possibly uh, cram into uh, this band? A key player. A key player will be there. Okay. The Met. Uh, well, yeah. listen, you guys were, were warming up. Um, here's what I'd like to do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I want to. I want you to go ahead and play right now. Okay. I, I, want, I want this to get yeah. out on the radio because we were having so much fun while you guys were jamming. Oh, I mean, like yeah. I'm over here dancing. Yeah. Yeah. I, it got me in such a mood. The song, the first song you were playing here was that was first in flight, first right? In flight, yeah. Okay, and this is uh, this is a single. Now this was on Mythic Quest, right? Was, was the a, song yep. used? Yeah, it was uh, the season two uh, finale episode. Okay, and yeah. the reason I want you to go ahead and play right now. And it's, you premiered it here. Yes, 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 exactly. I want I want our program director, Bill Weston, to hear this. Yeah. Oh, okay. And I want him to hear it right now because it just sounds awesome. And then we'll chat a little bit if that's that cool with great. you. Yeah, All right, great. so this is Don McCloskey. This song is First in Flight. Wait till you hear this mm -hmm. on MMR. Here we go. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. 
If you're just tuning in, Don McCloskey, hang on a second. I got to have to finish my pina colada. Over here. <laughs> uh, that music just makes me feel that was good. Cool that you guys did the conga line. That was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't have to do that. That was cool. I that music like that just makes my heart swell. Makes me feel good. You're having uh, a heart attack. I'm having a heart attack. I'm <laughs> sweating. That's a guy man. Gina, I have diarrhea. No, Preston. <laughs> Do you know what it reminds me of in, in the best comparison? Uh, the Graceland. Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah. Sound. We'll, we'll, we'll take Graceland. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, and well, a, a multitude of others, but that's uh, yeah. one well, of the ultimate feel-good, um, you know, musicianship, uh, uh, Lady Smith, Black Bombaz, all, all those things yeah, that gel together. That yeah, all those records. Right, right, right. The 80s is really were drawing uh, from there as well. It's a good vibe. The guitar, yeah. The yeah. Sukus guitar lines are pretty evocative of, sure. you know, uh, Peter Gabriel so and yeah yeah and, and you, and, you've, yeah. you've got the the full percussion sound the the backup vocals everything is just uh it's a very full sound and a very happy so uh, my question about that song I'm so caught up in the in the melody and the rhythm and all that stuff I didn't, I'm not even paying attention to what you're singing what oh, is yeah, it yeah me neither what's Don't it worry. about yeah okay good. Honestly, yeah yeah that's the whole thing <laughs> like, yeah. what's it about what's first in flight about the lyric uh, is well, just a place though um, it's really about um, North Carolina's uh, license plates that's really yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, no. first in flight <laughs> yeah <laughs> well listen I've listened Don I've listened to the record a bunch I love the song and, and it took me about six or seven listens before you you talk about the Orville uh, and, and uh, Wilbur Wright so they're like yeah, there's yeah, yeah. Wright Brothers references right. yeah, yeah, and yeah. actually talking about first and flight, and then I realized, it was, oh, I think there's like plane references in here. Yes. yes. Yeah, it was initially inspired uh, by David McCullough's book, uh, The Wright Brothers, mm -hmm. about the Wright Brothers. And, you know, I used to go to um, the Outer Banks as a kid uh, for vacation, and, you know, it was in my, in my mind somewhere. And then I read the book uh, by David McCullough, and the story of them overcoming what they had to overcome in order to achieve... Uh, flight, and that's awesome that you have the first in flight. Yeah, we've got the uh, we got a license plate up here. So what what yeah. what um, gave you the and, and then that's the extension like for anything that we're uh, you, anything that anyone's trying to overcome. Like, okay, as a metaphor. For, as a metaphor. Yes, okay, to take a leap of faith in your life about whatever obstacle you're. You know, is presenting itself to you at the time. Okay, because I was going to say a song about yeah. just uh, you know the Wright brothers and giving it that Caribbean flavor is kind of an odd pairing, but uh, there's more to it than that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, um, I don't really know what to say about that. Other than that. <laughs> well, well, if I, I could request like, a song about Alexander Graham Bell, that would be all awesome. <laughs> first in phone. Yeah. I'm glad you asked. Yeah, we go yeah. through uh, Eli Whitney. Eli Whitney, yeah, the yeah. Yeah, all, yeah. Well, it was really Nikola Tesla who, uh, <laughs> first, uh, um, this song is most of them. This one goes out to Madame Curie. <laughs> shout out to Madame. <laughs> uh, speaking of shout outs, uh, let's meet your, your band members, if you don't yeah. mind going around the room and introducing, yes. uh, people and what well, they play. Yeah, this is Sean Hennessy on percussion here. Very cool. Uh, hey, Hennessy. <laughs> well, we, uh, yeah. uh, Sean lot. Hennessy. Oh, I love it. Um, uh, Matt Kepler on bass. Uh, cool. uh, Matt is uh, on bass, and we don't have a song for you right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, everybody from the Philly region, or? Uh, I think so, yeah. yeah. Oh, All that's right. awesome. Good. Excellent. Yeah. All right, and who else? Uh, Chuck Stubb. On bass. Uh, nice. <laughs> no, he plays drums, right? These are the drums, right? Yes. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I'll the, ba the, the bass drums. You do the instruments. All right. Very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, Chuck Staub in the name of love. That's it. Uh, yeah. Staub in the name of love. I love. Hannah it. Taylor here on. Uh, Nice. Back up vocals. Hello, hello. 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 Really hello. front up vocals. <laughs> We're all singing together. So this is Hannah Taylor. Yeah. Hello, Hannah. Sarah B. Mueller. Yay. Which Hi. means beekeeper in German. It's is that true. Correct? It is oh. very true. Yeah. Okay. Buzz, buzz. <laughs> <laughs> and Ross Belenois on uh, guitar. One very the, good. Yes. Excellent. Very tasty. One of the great uh, Philadelphia guitarists right here. Have you guys all been, uh, most of you guys together for quite a while? Or is uh, the band uh, members yeah, kind of so come and go? we did the record uh, together. Uh, most of us were on the record together. And uh, so that was, that's been, what, four years? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that took a long time to do. But So we've been together since the record. And then uh, we've been playing for about a year. Okay. Yeah. Because the last time you were here, I believe, is when uh, you wrote "Unstoppable." That's uh, right uh, for oh, the for right. the Phils. Yes, that was a uh, great band, but different band, and also right. Philly. Uh, yeah, great. Yeah, that was uh, Chuck Treese and um, Tom Spiker, and yeah, okay. we, we did the uh, "Unstoppable." What's the uh, anthem? 
Yeah, yeah. For, the, for the Phillies, yeah. The Phillies, yeah, okay. which was great. But that was several years ago. That was 2009 after they'd won in 2008. It was Gorilla Delphia, and, and uh, yeah. We, yeah. we played it quite a bit, and yeah. uh, it was terrific. It was yeah. so long ago George... we won the World Series. That's yeah. right. That's how long yeah. ago. Yeah. And now we're going to be back in the playoffs this year, so maybe a 2022 version of yeah, it. Yeah, all right, let's Maybe go. call this one Stoppable. Yeah, it's been, <laughs> we've been playing Stoppable for 10 years. Yeah. Easily yeah. stopped. For two decades, yeah. <laughs> there is a lot of stopping us. It's not as preposterous <laughs> as we previously... <laughs> Uh, now your your relationship with uh, with Rob uh, yes. McElhenney, uh, you know, obviously I had mentioned uh, Mythic Quest that the uh, that the song First in Flight uh, yeah. was in uh, season two. Uh, you guys uh, have a long history. You grew up together or yes. went to school We're together? Close. We're not um, like colonoscopy close. Yeah. Right. That's like you know yeah. that's Ryan Reynolds and he are, are that close. Right. You know, yeah. but uh, no, uh, we we went to high school together. We've been friends for. 20, uh, 30, 30 years at this point. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I love yeah. how he, um, listen, he's over there and he's doing big things, uh, but he does not forget where he came from, yeah. uh, you know, and, and it, it does as much with and for, you know, the people that he loves and and, and loves here in Philadelphia. Yeah. I was talking to my, my friend uh, who is friends with his sister and his sister wrote my favorite episode of Mythic Quest. Yeah. It was a standalone a uh, episode. She's amazing. Katie McElhaney is absolutely incredible and very gifted writer. Um, and that episode is fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. She, she did a standalone episode for Mythic Quest. Um, that the name of the episode, I can't remember, but you should check it out. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. First season. Very, very good. Yeah. And just to say it into your remote. It'll figure it out. Yeah. Right. <laughs> now, did you, did you pitch, yeah. uh, Rob on, on trying to get the song into the, uh, uh the soundtrack so or Mythic did... Quest? No. So we, um, he came to the studio when we were recording, mm -hmm. uh, they were premiering the first season of Mythic Quest at like a theater down the street. Uh, you know, in Brooklyn, um, Alamo Draft House. I don't think any of this matters. Um, <laughs> then uh, he stopped by the $2 studio. Two dollar wings every Tuesday night. Exactly. your servers. <laughs> two, yeah, two for one. Yeah. Two for one Tuesdays. Um, <laughs> But I digress. <laughs> but I digress. Easy part. So he was in, <laughs> they were premiering the show. They were premiering the show. He stopped by the studio. He heard uh, all the songs early on. When it was finished, um, I sent him some of the tracks. And, I, and he was like, oh, this is great. We talked about the album for a little bit. And a couple, maybe weeks or two months later, I get a text. Uh, Do you mind if we use uh, First in Flight uh, for the end of, you know, for the finale of the season two yeah yeah and i said you know let me let me, let me sit on this for a little bit <laughs> pretty uh, protective of the uh, licensing <laughs> now let it me ask great. you it was perfect it, it was actually like perfectly uh, sorry um it was used in the uh like n narrative it oh was, it was like, used very well yeah yeah, yeah yeah if you felt uh, that it was not appropriate <laughs> right, right, or that it was. Oh, so, oh, yeah. It, if you felt protective of it, oh, if it was way do you have off, the kind of relationship with Rob where you just say, oh, oh yeah, I don't I'm, think he would even. I, I, he wouldn't even be like, can we use it if it was way off? Right, okay, it's yeah. perfect. I mean, if you've <laughs> yeah. seen the, it's that's the reason it's on there. It yeah. really is uncanny. Uh, they were looking for a song, you know, they were editing, putting different things in uh, for that moment. Yeah, it does completely and work. Yeah, it's, it's the two main characters who are about to embark on their next yeah. uh, mission, and it's like. Uh, leap of faith is, you know, <laughs> the, the line leap of yeah. faith comes on right at that moment and sails into the credits. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes that's the best way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so, great. Don, I want to thank you. Uh, you've been enormously flexible. We were supposed to have you in like two months ago and then I think you got oh, COVID and then you. like yeah. a couple of people here got COVID and it's just been a, a work in progress. So thanks for adjusting. But now we're doing it right in front of the, the It's Always Sunny podcast at the Met. So yeah. can you tell us a little bit about like what you guys are going to do? Because sure. I think the podcast itself, they don't quite know what it's going to be like out on stage, <laughs> right, yeah. but they do know that you're going to be there for it. Yes. Yeah. We're going to open up uh, the, the, you know, it's a live podcast. Podcast, so I don't know if anyone knows what that's going to be. <laughs> it's like, it's a television show. It's a podcast based on a television show. It's a live show of a podcast yeah. based on a television <laughs> show. Right, right. Well, during, Here's some music in the beginning. Yeah. But it's going to be awesome. It's sold out. And obviously, it's just going to be a great uh, hang. And it's at the Met. And it's going to be a better venue. It couldn't be a better, like reason you know yeah. to be there so yeah. you guys are going to do a set ahead of time before the uh, podcast or uh, how's it going to work out are you the house band wait no 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 we're doing a set beforehand okay yeah. okay mm -hmm. all right cool anybody else playing that night or just uh you know i think we open it up and then it's uh it's podcast time okay yeah. when did the album when did you when did you complete it when is it uh when did it become available uh the album uh in at the end of april okay yeah all right so it's so uh it's available on spotify it's fully out there um yeah you premiered it here uh yep, first and, I remember. Yeah. and it's the first song to a million uh, streams on Spotify, 
because I think it's because of you guys. That's, oh, what, that's what I think. That's cool. what I And I the Alamo yeah. Draft House. And the Alamo Draft House. <laughs> Shout out two for one Tuesdays. Don't miss chicken wings. And, and, and Jackson. Have you picked up any sponsors along the way? <laughs> let's, not, uh, let's not forget you guys were local shots for Jackson. So uh, Jackson yeah. gets some credit for. Oh, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Jackson's been great uh, uh, from the beginning. Like he's right. uh, been playing. Local shots um, for yeah, my yeah. since my second album. Oh, awesome. yeah, absolutely! Shout out to Jackson. Well, let's get another song. Uh, the album is called uh, "The Chaos and the Beauty." Yes. And uh, what song would you like to play now, Don? Uh, this next one is oh, you know what? It's from the record that we, that I was just talking about. It's from uh, Northern Liberties, and uh, the song is called "Son of It All," and it's uh, about growing up in the area and and more. Excellent. Excellent. All right, yeah, yeah. "Son of It All," and if you're headed to the Always Sunny podcast event. Uh, either on Sunday or Monday, you'll be able to see the band performing live. Uh, so make sure that you get there early and uh, get ready to be entertained. So uh, Don McCloskey on MMR. Here we go. Um. Son of a more. Son of two young boys sent to fight an old man's war. Son of the nights they stayed awake on shore. If that would be the night, they would sleep tight forevermore. Son of the wives they returned to. Son of the lives they came back down to earth to. Son of the babies they gave birth to. The firstborn and the girl next door. Son of their young more that the world could never keep down. Son of a young man who rolled up his sleeves at 19 and come home at night and throw the meat down. Son of his young wife whose voice was a sweet sound. To the baby she would sing to sleep, even on weeks when it would not meet. Son of the hometown, the lost girl. Son of those who reach for the bootstraps when the world knocks them down. Son of the heart, son of the whole. Son of the mind, body, and soul. Son of the It's out of control, I was born Son of a part, son of the whole Son of a mind, body, and soul Son of a love, a capable love Son of a hate Son of the heat that would rise from the streets and playgrounds of Bristol in the summertime Son of a long toss, rolling over cars for a touchdown or rebound Thinking we were the sixes and eagles Son of the old sound that came down from my mom's vinyl ripping on needles Son of Old Town, James Brown, the Rolling Stones, the Beatles. Son of the new sound, the sonic amazement that had me losing my mind, pressing rewind and seeking salvation. Son of the heart, son of the whole. Son of the mind, body, and soul. Son of the love, we're capable of. Love. Son of the hate, it's out of control. I was born. Son of the part, son of the whole. Son of the mind, body, and soul. Son of the love, we're capable of. Love. Son of a hate, it's out of control. Stranded and spinning and hurling through space Son of the mess we're in Son of those who don't know where to begin Son of those who have given up and given in Son of those who rise above our time Whose eyes burn with fire Son of those whose tongues cannot tell lies Son of those who shine Son of the sages who blaze throughout the ages Son of the prophets who bleed on pages Whose words alone can cut the bone and move mountain ranges Son of those whose minds are considered dangerous Son of the freaks unafraid to take the streets Unafraid to speak their minds Unafraid to disturb the peace, the soldiers who walk shoulder to shoulder up on the governments of the world and say that freedom reigner it's all over. Son of the pain and the laughter, son of the bombs that fall like rain at the end of days, and son of the sun that rises on the morning after. Son of the mind, body, and soul. Son of the love, we're capable of love. Son of the hate, it's out of control, I was born. Son of the part, son of the whole. Son of the mind. Son of the love, we capable of love. Son of the hate, it's out of control.
Don McCloskey. Can I join your band? Yeah, me too. Uh, Some plays drums. Can I please Sorry. join your awesome. band? Never out, buddy. Wow. Uh, just have double drummers. It'll be yeah. Triple yeah. drummers. Hey, yeah. man, 38 Special did it, brother. We yeah, can do that's it. true. They were yeah. all did caught I, up in us. That's at, right. At Union? Uh, yes. With the drum? What's that? Yeah, were you banging on the drum with the oh, Union? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I opened the Union game. Yeah. Bring that. I'll bring that guy. drum. <laughs> and a little bottom end for you guys. Yeah. Uh, if you're just tuning in, uh, Don McCloskey and his band are here this morning. The Chaos and the Beauty is out now. It's the album. Uh, they're going to be playing at the uh, the Always Sunny podcast. Are there other, uh, what's a what's a tour uh, situation? Anything going on now or later on? Or is it just kind of so continuing on? So the shows on? at the uh, Met are sold out. Right. Uh, the album release at Ardmore Music Hall, October 14th. There that's you go. That's the one. That's okay. coming right that's up the on one. That. That's the yeah. whole band, the whole crew. Cool. Um, so that's the album release. And then we go to the West, West Coast um, in the beginning of the year. Okay. And do the tour there. Then we come back and we'll... To the uh, East Coast. Okay. And then hopefully we get to the middle part. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is just harder. It's like four hours uh, in between uh, everything. Right. Well, in the K middle. Casey's so going to be seeing some of that. He's going to yeah. be heading out on you the road. You may set up some uh, tour dates for you yes. in Missouri. And <laughs> yes. Exactly. Is there a, yeah. um, there are Alamo draft houses in yeah. each of these, uh, <laughs> <laughs> in every city. So yeah, we absolutely. can, yeah. Okay. yeah. The Alamo draft house house band. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, let's do one more. I know you guys have three songs. Yeah, yeah, go, yeah. Right? Absolutely. Let's do another well, one. Thank you so much for having us. We'd love to do another song. Absolutely. We're having too much yeah. fun. What song uh, are you going to play now? This one is called Open the Door. It is one of the first songs I wrote, but I haven't recorded it until this record. So it's on the new album. Uh, the album's called The Chaos and the Beauty, if anybody wants to check it out. It's on Spotify and everything else. And uh, this is uh, called Open the Door. All right. It's Don McCloskey on MMR. Here we go.
Big finish. Don McCloskey. Good night, Cincinnati. <laughs> did you break a string? He did. I was here. <laughs> Casey was going to be the roadie. The roadie that jumps in and replaces guitar after a broken string. That's that's the song where the uh, the ladies start taking their clothes off. I, I noticed that too. That was nice. And by the way, this this I love this text. It says, "Oh, this is the Chipwitch song." <laughs> and that is the line that stood out to me too. I had a Chipwitch for breakfast. Uh, which uh, and by the way, a, a number another another text says, "I have just downloaded everything all Don McCloskey oh, now." Yeah. So that's what Thank we you, want. Person who just did that. There you go. Very important person. Yes. Uh, the album is called uh, The Chaos and the Beauty. And uh, like Don said, you can you can get that now. You can get it on Spotify, download it. It's local. Yeah. It's awesome. By the way, the it's person that did the download, uh, manager at the Alamo Draft House. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> I think they're required uh, to do that. But Tuesday, two for Tuesdays. Yeah. Uh, well, listen, you guys sound wonderful. Uh, congratulations on this Thank great you. body of work that you've created. And uh, enjoy these shows with uh, Rob and friends. And then... Oh. Uh, we'll remind people about that show. October 14th, you said? Yes, that's right. Ardmore? October 14th, Ardmore Music Hall. Okay. Great Tickets venue. Tickets on sale now, but not for long. Okay. All right. the, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Excellent. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for being here this morning. <laughs> thank you guys so much. Thank Honestly, you. thank you for... You got it.